Now that we know the definition of a function, I'd like to start by uh, sketching functions and then taking a look at several graphs and determining if, in fact, those graphs are functions. Okay? So let's start by taking a couple functions here and try to sketch them. So sketch the graph of, remember how we say this, f of x equals square root of x. So here's a function. Okay? And we also want to sketch the graph of g of x equals x squared. Now what we'll do is I'm going to make a table of values. Okay? Now remember, a function takes an element x to exactly one element in y. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to arbitrarily pick a few x values and figure out what the corresponding f of x values are or y values. Remember, y is going to be the same thing as f of x. All right, let's start with 0. If I plug a 0 into my function, I get 0 because the square root of 0 is 0. Notice I cannot put negative values in our function because I cannot take the square root of a negative number. So let's try putting a 1 in. Uh, if I put a 1 into the function, square root of 1 is 1. If I put a 4 into the function, square root of 4 is 2. And maybe I'll pick 9 because the square root of 9 is 3. Okay? Now, let's do x, x squared. Notice this one, I can put negative numbers in. So I'll just put a few numbers here. Because if I square a negative, it's okay. I can do that. Negative 2 squared is 4. Negative 1 squared is 1. 0 squared is 0. 1 squared is 1. 2 squared is 4. So notice what I've done. I've created a table. And what these are, these are ordered pairs. All I have to do is plot these ordered pairs and I can connect the dots. So let's do that. Here's a couple Cartesian coordinate systems. And I'm going to plot our points. I'll plot the point 0, 0, 1 and 1, 4 and 2, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 2, and that's enough. There is the square root function. And we'll talk about these more uh, later on in the course. Okay? So all I did was I came up with some points, plotted them. Okay? We'll do the same thing for these points. Negative 2, 4, negative 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, and 2, 4. And we get this parabola. Now you've probably seen these before, so hopefully this is a review to you. All right, so there are two functions. Now let's take a look at these things. Remember the definition of a function. Okay? We let x and y be two non-empty sets of real numbers. A function from x into y is a relation that associates with each element x a unique element of y, and that's the special definition, uh, part of the definition here. Notice, for each x value, we have exactly one corresponding y value. Same thing over here. For every x value, there corresponds just one y value. These are functions, okay? Now, let's take a look at some graphs. And we want to determine if these are functions. Okay? I didn't give these graphs names. I just want to determine whether or not those are functions. Okay? And all we have to figure out is for every element x, is there just one corresponding y value? Here's an x, there's just one y. There's an x, there's just one y. Notice for every x value, I'm only going to have one y value. Okay? So this is a function. Okay? Notice this one. Here's an x value here. Notice I have two corresponding y values. So this is not a function. Okay. 
Let's look at this one. For every x value, let's make sure there's just one corresponding y value. Now here's the only interesting part of this function, or graph. We don't know if it's a function yet. Notice I have an open circle here. I have a closed one here. That means for this value of x, the function is only defined at this point. It's open there, meaning that it doesn't, this point does not exist. So for this x value, there is, in fact, only one corresponding y value. Now, there's an easy way to tell if a graph is a function. All we have to do is draw vertical lines. If a vertical line intersects at most one place, then it has to be a function. Notice I can draw a vertical line here, intersected two spots. I can draw a vertical line there, intersected in two spots. So if I can draw a vertical line and it intersects in more than one spot, it cannot be a function. Here, any vertical line I draw, I will only get one intersection. Even there, I just get one. Okay? So that's a really important test. Now I'll go ahead and state it for you. The vertical line test. A set of points in the rectangular coordinate system is the graph of a function if and only if every vertical line intersects the graph in at most one point. Okay? You might want to write that down. Okay? So, in other words, if you can draw a vertical line and it intersects more than one point, it's not a function. Notice all our graphs that we've done in this lecture. This one and this one. These certainly pass the vertical line test. Any vertical line I draw will only intersect one point. On the other page, we did the vertical line test here. Vertical lines only intersected once. It's a function. Vertical line intersected twice. Not a function. Vertical line only once is a function. So the vertical line test is a very helpful test, and it's a very easy test that will help you determine if a graph is a function or not.